This is a um, lymphoma um, biopsy. All of this is greatly benefited by getting rid of the, the autofluorescent signal, which is this right here. You can see the red blood cells in this case um, being unmixed and removed from the sample. I'm going to start with just the DAPI on, and then I'll turn on layers um, so that you can fully appreciate um, all the information that's contained in one of these samples. So I'm zooming in now. You can see the whole sample up there. Um, and the first thing I'll turn on um, is the tumor marker. And this is, in this case, it's a um, PAX-5 antibody, um, which is good for detecting lymphoma cells. Um, other markers that are in this panel, FOXP3, so those are probably all regulatory T cells. Um, notice how clean the, the signal is. Um, other markers, another marker is um, CD8, so the cytotoxic T cells. And we have macrophage marker, this is CD68. Um, and then we have the um, PD1 marker. And then we have the PDL1 marker. And um, by turning on other markers that usually co-express in the same cell with PDL1, you can see that these are probably mostly macrophages. Um, and they don't look to be tumor cells so much. Um, and then if we turn on all this, all the mark layers, um, you can start to see how complex this really is. This is a very, very dense field of cells, and there's actually quite a bit of heterogeneity across the sample in terms of who's who's right next to who. Um, and so there's an awful lot of biology going on in this one sample.